In this video, we introduce the concept of responsibilities uh, of the different components in a Gaussian mixture model. And so just to remind you, we are dealing with this um, uh, model made of uh, K different Gaussian components. And uh, for each data point, the probability of that point given the whole set of vectors for each one of the k um, Gaussian components is really going to be <clears throat> the sum of the contributions of each model. So it's going to be summed from 1 to capital K of pi k, the weight of that component, times the normal distribution of that component. Uh, so it's xn um, with mean mu k and uh, covariance matrix sigma k. And so the idea of uh, responsibility, so we will have responsibility, we define this responsibility of the uh, kth component um, to data point xn is really going to be <clears throat> exactly how much that particular component contributes to the overall probability of seeing that point xn. So the way we define it um, is going to be like this. I'm going to denote it R and K. Um, N is between N, uh, 1 and capital N, and K is between 1 and capital K. So it's defined as R and K to be it's going to be a normalized thing. So it's going to be exactly this component. It's going to be pi k times the normal distribution with mean mu k and covariance matrix sigma k over the whole sum uh, so that this is normalized uh, over the whole thing. So this is uh, from sum 1 to k by j and normal distribution of xn given mu, mu j and sigma j. Um, and uh, obviously this is going to be proportional to, to this part, to the uh, likelihood um, um, of this one. And um, also, uh, obviously this is going to lead to a, a matrix, so we are um, really collecting uh, this uh, responsibility. So maybe I'm just writing here the responsibility matrix is going to be made of all these um, responsibilities. So it's going to have um, n rows and uh, k columns. And um, if I take the um, uh, the sum over one row, so the sum over a row is always one. Uh, and that's because we are normalizing this thing. And so we, when we take the um, contribution of all the components to, to a data point and normalize, this is always going to be uh, one. So uh, in other words, uh, sum of um, R and K and R and K sum over K is always going to be uh, one, and also obviously uh, these numbers they are all uh, greater than or equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> the way you can think about it, just realizing that they sum up to one, you can think about this R n. So this leads to the idea of uh, R n as a sort of a, a soft assignment. Of uh, Xn to the uh, K mixture components. So what I'm saying here is that realizing that they sum up to one, you can think about it um, as, um, by the way, this Rn is just the collection of uh, all these uh, points in here. So if, if I'm just uh, collecting these Rn1, Rn2, and so on, Rn capital K, um, 
and uh, I take this as, as a vector column as, as usual. So the way you can think about this is, is really uh, a soft assignment, kind of uh, thinking what's the likelihood of that point belonging to uh, each one of the clusters if you, if you have to think in terms of clusters. So a soft assignment of this data point to these components and uh, is going to be given um, the uh, weight of that assignment is going to be given by each one of these uh, components rn1 rn2 and so on rn rn k so the sum sum over uh, a, a row is always one and uh, uh, we can also think about the uh, sum over uh, a column which is going to be the contribution of that particular component to the overall data set that you have. Um, I want to give you uh, just this matrix um, of responsibilities. So the uh, responsibility matrix for that running example we have in this chapter, and you can check it in the very first video we had in this series of lectures on Gaussian model, uh, mixture models. And uh, that's going to be a matrix that has obviously uh, three columns because we, we have in our running example uh, three components. And we had in that example, um, we had uh, seven data points. So this is going to be a matrix seven by three. And when we calculate these values, we are going to get this is one, zero, zero, and we have one, zero, 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 fifty seven, zero, nine, four, three, and zero, <coughs> zero dot zero, zero, one, zero dot nine, 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 and zero here. Um, the, these ones are all zero. This one is zero, zero, six, six, zero and zero, and uh, zero, nine, three, four, one and one. So just by looking at these um, values, what we can say is that the first component overwhelmingly contributes to explaining the first data points. The contribution of the other components are, are basically negligible. Um, and then as we move to the following two data points, um, we see that the contribution of the second component starts to be really overwhelming. The first one still contributes somewhat, but not, not that much. And so the second component explains, contributes quite much to explaining the following data points, uh, two data points in our set. And then for the last three data points in our set is the third component that takes over explaining those points with some minor contribution from the second component for a while. So that's the way to read these um, responsibilities. And this is going to be quite a useful concept when we start thinking about solving the maximum likelihood problem in the next video lectures.